Chapter 2 Angles Introduction Children, we have learnt about the types of angles in 5th standard. There are three types of angles. 1. Acute angle 2. Right angle and 3. Obtuse angle We also know which are the arms of the angle, what is vertex and how to name the angle. Look at the angles shown in the pictures below. Identify the type of angle and write its name below the picture. It is an obtuse angle. It is a right angle. It is an acute angle. Complete the following table. Angle 1. Name of the angle is angle PYR. Vertex of the angle is Y. Arms of the angle are PY and YR. Angle 2. Name of the angle, angle LMN. Vertex of the angle. M is the vertex of an angle. Arms of the angle. LM and MN are the arms of the angle. Angle 3. Name of the angle. Angle BOS. Vertex of the angle. O is the vertex of an angle. Arms of the angle. BO and OS are the arms of the angle. Concept of angle. Mom, why this mendy cone? It's called as cone. Cone is a mathematical word. Yes, you are right. Look at this mendy cone properly. These two sides are meeting at one point. It's just like the concept of angle in mathematics. Hence, it's the shape of a cone. But does every time these two sides meet exactly at the same angle? No. Every time the sides of angles meet at various different measures and then type of angles are identified. Oh, now I understood. My friend Maths at the fair, at home, in the garden. Look at the pictures above and identify the different types of angles. 1. The first picture is of merry-go-round. These are all acute angles. These angles are right angles. These highlighted angles are obtuse angles. These are straight angles. These are all reflex angles. This is a complete angle. 2. Now look at the next picture of hand fan. This is reflex angle and this is an acute angle. 3. The third picture is of seesaw. This is straight angle. This angle is an acute angle. Set square and the divider. Brother, what is this? We call it as set squares. If we measure the angles of this both, the set square, then we can see that this set square has the measure 30, 60, 90 and we can draw the angles 30 degrees, 60 degrees, 90 degrees and this set square has the measure 45, 45, 90. And we can draw the angles 45 degrees, 45 degrees, 90 degrees using this set square. Brother, what is this pointed instrument? We may get hurt if we do not handle it properly. Then for what purpose it is used? This is called the divider. It is used to measure the distance between two points. First, we keep its two pointers on the end points and then, using scale, we see how much the distance is. Try this. Angle bisector. Take a sheet of tracing paper. Draw an angle of any measure on it. Fold the paper so that the arms of the angle fall on each other. What does the fold do? Observe that the fold divides the angle into two equal parts. This fold is the bisector of the angle. Take points 
A and B on the arms of the angle at equal distances from the vertex. Now take points C, P, T on the bisector of the angle. Measure the distance of each of these points from the points A and B. Note that each of the points on the bisector is equidistant from the points A and B. Geometrical Construction A. To draw an angle bisector using a compass. Mom, I am making a wall piece. I am using this kind of pieces. I want to decorate these pieces in such a way that in half part, I want to stick these beads, whereas in remaining half part, I want to stick these small mirrors. But I am not able to divide this piece in exactly two parts. Can you please do it? This piece forms an angle. If we divide this angle, then we can get the exact two equal parts of each piece. I'll tell you how to divide this angle. Give me your geometrical compass box. Draw an angle ABC of any major. Now place the point of a compass on point B and with any convenient distance draw an arc to cut rays BA and BC. Name the points of intersection as P and Q respectively. Now place the point of the compass at P and taking a convenient distance draw an arc inside the angle. Using the same distance, draw another arc inside the angle from the point Q to cut the previous arc. Name the point of intersection as point O. Now draw ray BO. Ray BO is the bisector of angle ABC. Major angle ABO and angle CBO. Are they of equal major? Yes. These two angles are equal in major. Right?